so with this problem I'm going to try to do a quickie guys okay I'm gonna be fast I'm gonna be fast fast okay so those of you who don't know what a quickie is ah, you guys have to do your own research okay so basically in this particular problem what they want is for you to calculate uh, the remaining part uh, if you subtract the the area of this uh, cycle here and the area of this uh, rectangle here okay from this huge one okay so basically we are going to calculate the area of the huge rectangle oh sorry the huge uh, square and then subtract the area of these two here okay so to calculate the area of the huge square we multiply uh, 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 both sides okay meaning we'll have 4a multiplied by 4a okay to calculate the area of this cycle uh, we need to okay uh, get the radius the radius is just half of the diameter in this case the diameter is 2a 2a divided by 2 these twos fall away and then you're left with a so you, your radius is a to calculate the area of a cycle we use pi r square our r is a okay and then we square this one so to calculate the area of this rectangle we multiply both sides okay so we'll have a multiplied by 2a then we have a multiplied by 2a okay so this will give us uh, 4 times 4 this will be 16 a times a then that is a square uh, minus pi uh, a square and then a times 2a we have minus 2 then we have a square okay so if you look at these two you can easily manipulate these two okay uh, since they are like terms even this one is a like term but since we don't want to express this in uh, using its decimal form we are going to leave it like this okay so they are all like terms you must know that okay just that we don't want to express pi in its decimal form so you'll have 16 minus 2 that is 14 and then you'll have your a square okay then it's minus pi a square okay so you basically done with this one uh, and then if you look at your options uh, that one is this one here okay so we're done with this question